Okay, some art is happening here. We've got like eyes and eyelashes and a little smile and eyes. It's very creative hair. though. That's very hair. cool. Now you just need to eat and then we'll be all good. Hey everyone, it's Joanna. So today I wanted to share with you one of our dinner time routines. We actually have a few different dinner times that work for our family of six. And this is one that we kind of went, we figured this one out when we were in survival mode, which I think a lot of families go through when you first have a baby. This is something we started to do, I would say once we had our twins, so our third and fourth kids. It was partly so that our kids could, it was chaotic during dinner time, and then so my husband Mike and I could have dinner together in the evening and really enjoy each other's company almost like a date at home. So what we would do, I would give our kids their dinner first and earlier on, then we'd get the kids to bed, and then Mike and I would barbecue a really delicious dinner, and I'd sit outside with Mike and while he barbecued, catch up on the day with a glass of wine, and then we'd have our dinner in peace and quiet inside, sometimes watching our favorite show, and sometimes just chatting, just catching up without any kids interrupting and eating a hot meal all at one sitting. So temporarily for a couple of years, Mike had actually a really long commute. So this was something we had to do quite often. We almost did this every night and we rarely had family meals. And that was starting to really bother me that we weren't having family meals. And I thought, oh no, like I'm failing our kids. But then once we got the commute figured out and the kids got a bit older, we were able to, I hear kids. <laughs> Real life is happening right now. Before getting dinner started, here's a little look back at how dinners in our home have evolved. Started to get into the habit of cooking dinner for the big kids and the babies before I go to pick them up, just so it's ready. Mike works late temporarily, so it's not like we can wait for him to come home anyways. They're too hungry and they were snacking too much until it was time for dinner. So I've switched it around. They eat dinner right away and then they have some snacks. Tonight I'm just doing some, I'm cooking some frozen meatballs and then we're going to have some whole wheat pasta and some spinach sauce for both the babies and the older kids. And then my awesome nanny whipped up a batch of homemade granola bars with chia seeds. I'll definitely post that on my blog soon. It's super fast. I taught it to her and now she's been making that for me once a week which is so nice and most important my second coffee of the day sometimes i have three coffees a day um it's time for me to have my coffee a granola bar and take a rest <laughs> you gonna play the crawling game with that? So once Mike's really long commute ended, we were able to start having family meals. It took a little while for everyone to get used to the family meals and not have constant meltdowns. Now we're having family meals about three or four times a week and then one or two days we will do this type of meal. It's Friday and everyone is very tired and very hungry and there's just no way that we can expect our kids to really sit down and have a nice calm family meal. So this is one of those nights. Mike's actually hanging out with the kids in the other room and I'm gonna get the kids dinner on the table and then Mike and I are gonna do our dinner later. Now a couple tips and tricks I've learned with kids with dinner, and especially to get them to eat a variety of food and we have notorious picky eaters. These are really, really good tricks to get them to explore food more. One of them is to just create like a buffet, put all the food out on the table and let them serve themselves. Half the time they don't eat it, but I actually have found ever since I've started to do that, especially our big kids have started eating way more vegetables and types of food and, and being much more adventurous. And I think it's just the control thing, being able to choose what they want. Um, they'd much more prefer to eat it than me deciding what goes on their plate and how much and then telling them what they have to eat. So that's one trick I've learned. The other one, 
is our daughter Bo was becoming a very picky eater about a year ago and I was at a loss. I tried so many things, I couldn't figure out what to do and I spoke to her teacher at school and she told me to just give her two options each night. Do you want dinner or do you want a snack plate? And to know, have a healthy snack plate in mind for her with all the food groups, that's something that she'd like and just not get into a fight about it and just make it very simple and straightforward. And ever since I started taking the pressure off of all of us, she's actually started to choose to eat dinners the same ones that we eat more often than not. Okay, so for the kids dinner today, we're doing fajitas. So we've got some leftover steak, which I have a feeling Holden will be the only one that eats that. Some shredded cheese, some whole wheat tortilla wraps, and some cut up peppers and cucumbers. Okay, dinner guys! <laughs> Everyone wants for that quick. Okay, okay, okay. Pizza. I know. Pizza. Pizza. Okay, I'll pizza. Oh, yeah. Pizza. 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 It's like hamburger. Do you want a piece of hamburger? Yeah, it's like hamburger. So do you want a piece of hamburger? Feel like a broken record. Do you want a piece of hamburger? hamburger? So we're just picking our battles tonight. The TV is on quietly in the background. We don't mind if or Everly and Mia, who are three years old, just eat tortilla wraps and cheese. Okay, some art is happening here. We've got like eyes and eyelashes and a little smile and eyes. It's very creative Hair. though. That's very cool. Now you just need to eat and then we'll be all good. Do you want Everly? Red! Red! Red bow? Double thumbs up. Double bite, thumbs up. big bite. Crunchy. It's crunchy, it's crunchy. It's sour. No, it's not sour. You gotta take a bite. No. Hummus, hummus. Why is it barbecue? I tried peppers before and I like peppers, but they're just too spicy. It's really sour. Hey, that's good. You should scoop. Cow, cow flat. Yeah, is that what you want? Red Holden, pepper. can you pass Mia um, yeah, a red pepper, please? Okay. Can I have orange pepper? Do you want to dip it in hummus, Everly? Or dip, you could even dip this in hummus. Do you want to dip this in hummus? Take a bite. Mia, it's good. Yeah. Are you going to have some? Um, I am later with Daddy. Okay. Can I have dinner with you guys, like sit down? <laughs> and me? Just like, no, just... Can I please be excused? Yes, you can. Can I go be excused? Can you be excused? Yes, you can be excused. No, be excused. Yes, you can. Can I please be excused? Yes, you can. Oh. Mommy, oh. are you going to ask to be excused? Can I be excused? <laughs> <laughs> no, I need, I need backup. <laughs> what is happening? Nice tucking in your shirt into your shorts. <laughs> you guys working off all those calories you just ate? <laughs> By being goofballs? <laughs> Well, almost <laughs> having one last snack and Mike's prepping our dinner. He barbecues and he preps it all and will I tidy up the kitchen from the kids meal. First we have a gorgeous 
cheese souffle. <laughs> Um, cheese souffle. I have no idea what that is. I made that, <laughs> that up totally. He's cutting up our peppers. Um, we're having grilled. barbecued chicken breasts and grilled peppers and, and grilled asparagus mm. and gigantic grilled. These are not gigantic. There are some big ones. I gigantic bought some. portobello mushrooms yes. on the barbecue. Yes. And then we pick some basil from our garden and we add them. It's so good. This is partly why I love doing our dinner sometimes later is just having a nice glass of wine. Outside we'll make barbecuing and we just catch up on the day. dishes and I'm gonna probably relax with the show or something and then head up to bed. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And also if you wanna see more videos from our family, you can head to the link below for our YouTube channel, Nesting Story. I'll see you guys soon, bye.